Surinder Singh Lali, uh, you know your uh, you know your perspective on the top three reasons why you believe this uh, targeting of India is taking place by the Canadian dispensation. Thank you. They are taking a cue from Ambassador Mukherjee. I'm going to further kind of fine tune your question. Why is the United States through Canada targeting India? I mean, to me, it it now it seems like an entire script being played out by Uncle Sam. I mean, if you look at the recent trade sanctions and five eyes giving the intelligence to Canada and then again being leaked back to Washington Post and the way United States and Mr. Miller have been making kind of supportive statements that we should cooperate with America, with Canada. Uh, you know, Niger allegedly was killed and America seems to have prior information of Gurpat Wan Singh Pannu for which there is an open trial in New York, in, in the Southern District of New York. Eric Garcetti's open threats, if not statements on, you know, we should pick either that side or this side because in an act of for possible war, which side would India go to? And not to mention the noise that Kurpatwan Singh Pannu has been making against the airlines, the you know the diplomats, and you name it. I mean, and you know America is ambiguously being quiet on it. In fact, you know I've always felt that he's a he's a CIA asset. And uh, now that it is moving from the allegations to the evidence stage, so well, they, I think uh, the jury is out, and there is going to be a lot more to be played out till it actually, you know, starts to improve. And Uday, I also feel that we've been kind of prepared for it. I mean, of course, Ambassador Mukherjee can shed much more light on it because what we get to know as the Mango people is far lesser than what goes on behind the close quarters. Because if you see, even we have been trying to keep our, you know, divide our eggs and keep them in both the baskets by Modiji's, you know, trips catching up with the talking to, uh, you know, Putin, those, those hugs, the de-dollarization, the rupee trade, and, you know, SCO with China, the kind of de-escalation that has at least started to happen. So I think this is a lot larger script being played out in which Canada is only a wingman, but the true director of the show is the United States of America, which has been playing this game, but obviously in a much better sophisticated manner than this pyromaniac uh, Justin Trudeau has been playing out. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.